Okay, so I have my, uh, I'm gonna take this stuff off here. So one thing you need is you need you need this, to take this uh, this off, you need this tool here. Uh, I'm not, I don't know what the part number for this tool is, but anyways, I got this when, when I had a CRF 50. Uh, you know, this works on the CRF 50, CRF uh, 70, uh, CRF 110. I mean, that's what this engine is based off, is the, is the 110 engine. Uh, so you need this uh, later on to take the, go into this and take this out. So we will start with the, um, start with the oil filter. Let's see if I could turn this thing or not. Uh, this thing will probably spin. Yes, so it spins. So one thing I got is I got this this little thing from a Wee, Wee Bike out of Japan. You see how this little thing here is made by Kotako. I haven't even opened it yet. It's made by Kotako. Um, Alright, so that's, that's what it is right there. And that's the part number and, and how much it costs you know, at the time of, of uh, purchase. So basically, uh, it wasn't too too bad. Uh, I can't remember what, what it was after the change rate. It was like, including shipping, it was like uh, maybe 30 bucks or 35 bucks or something like that. It's not, you know, not, not too expensive. Uh, I mean, it is kind of expensive for, for a little tool like this, but considering, you know, after everything's said and done, uh, so it's like so. So what this does is that this right here, this will engage your uh, your teeth in here, so that way it prevents these two from spinning. So let's look at how that works. So right in here, so right in this spot right here. So basically, I'm just gonna stick this right in like so. camera out of the way. Stick this in and then I can bring the camera back. Okay, so it's on. So let's look at that. Let's see how that engages right there. Um, so basically it, it, it engages the teeth on both sides. So that way it prevents this thing from moving. Okay. Get my wrench. Oh, so that's pretty light. It's not much torque at all. That's pretty light. Just break everything loose. Just break everything loose. I could turn it. Definitely feel resistance. This uh. There's definitely a lot of resistance. It feels like a lot of drag in there. Or something it's like it feels like uh, um, like that's Loctite. It's like they use Loctite on this thing on the threads. Oh man, it's tight. I feel the tightness. This one doesn't have it. This one is pretty loose, but these other two, so it's kind of tight. Feels so damn tight. Oops! God damn it! Oh come on! Oh shit! I missed my oil oil catch. God damn it! Got a put of oil there now. Let me go get my oil catch can. Drip of put of oil right there. Man, this is really tight. It definitely feels like this Loctite in it. Uh, got another impact here. So yeah, I can see the Loctite in there. So I was right, there was Loctite 
anytime when you unscrew something. Um, oops. You feel a lot of resistance when you unscrew it. That usually is Loctite. So that I can see the Loctite right in there. Surprisingly, this one hardly has any Loctite at all. Okay. Just the cover. Okay, got my little catch can right there, so it's catching the oil. Uh, so that's the cover right there. You see a little bit of dirtiness, not too bad. Let's look at the, uh, let me wipe that off before. It spills everywhere. So let's look at this. Let's try to get the camera in this and let's see how how uh, clean it, how dirty that is. So you can see some particles right there. Alright, so you can see see the dirtiness. I can't see that angle. So definitely see some dirtiness. Let me wipe it real quick with my fingers so you can see how much uh, particle there is. Uh, let me wipe right here. Right there. See that? So see that on my fingers? So that's the, uh, so this is the oil filter. It's a centrifugal oil filter. Basically there's, there's no actual filter medium. What happens is that oil comes through, you know, from the oil pump. It comes through this, this, uh, uh, it comes through, uh, let me see, what does it come through at? This is the sensor shaft right there. Uh, but anyways, it comes through and the oil is in here. And this thing is spinning, the engine is spinning. So all the particles, all the dirtiness, because it's a centrifugal force, it will push it out towards the outside and it catches all that. And the oil being liquid, being lighter, uh, it will actually uh, go in the middle and, and it will uh, make its way out. To, uh, uh, into the basically into the head first goes to the oil the valve cover excuse me the uh, the clutch cover and it moves way to the head into this little passageway over here that I pointed out earlier uh, in, in the previous video in the, in the, in the uh, cover of removal video all right so let's take this gasket off real carefully let's see if we could save it if we if not then we have to replace it I do have a replacement one. Actually, I, I don't even think I need to take this off. You know what? I'm not gonna take it off. Oh, actually, I might have to. That one's slightly off. This one's not. So I'm just gonna start wiping it down. So that's pretty damn dirty. Let me use my other rag. Let me use my dirty rag. Dirtier rag here, an old sock basically. This one, an old socks, uh, old clothes, I should say, are, are, are perfect for as oil rags. Now you can actually see the see the, how how much it, the buildup there is, the accumulation. That's quite a bit, and considering that it's mostly black, it's probably mostly clutch material. Especially when the clutch was new, I would say it's mostly clutch material. And this, you know, there's a lot of space here, so that means uh, because of that space, that means you could actually trap quite a bit of material here before you need to before you need to um, clean it out and and. Uh, uh, you know, really clean it. You know, we really clean out this oil filter. What I should do is I should take the filter off. Take the filter off, then uh, look at that right there. I should take the filter off, then wipe it down. That way, I have more clearance. I'm wiping things down. Let's actually just take this off. Save this piece. Oh, come on. Uh, okay. So 
I'm not sure if I could save this piece or not. I'm gonna wipe it down and uh, see how how good it looks. So I'm looking at that. You know, it is a metal metal uh, seal, but it has it has that kind of like this. You know, like a rubbery rubbery uh, coating. As long as that rubbery coating is still good. It should just should be okay uh, as far as reusing it goes. So these seals do have a do go in one direction. So be mindful of that. You can't just you know put it in any direction you want. So if you look at it, and this one's kind of hard to it's hard to tell with this one because it's already been crushed. I could feel my finger. So this side, this side was was facing the uh, the. So it was basically it was like this, not like this. So I'm feeling right here. Uh, there's like a little, right in the middle of it. There's like a little rib that 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 comes up. So that's that's the side that faces inwards. So the so on this side here, you feel it. It actually it's actually uh, recessed in. It, you know it, it's it's uh, concave basically. Concave on this side. Uh, on the outside it's concave, on the inside facing the, uh, the filter it's con convex. Um, this is what it feels on my fingers. Yeah, That's how it feels on my fingers. So I might be able to re reuse this. It looks okay. It's kind of distorted though. It's kind of warped. Well, you know what? I might not, not use this. I think I'm gonna put in a new one. If you look at it, see how warped it is. So I, I might not use it. It's warped like that because because of that part where it's convex and concave. Uh, before it got crushed down and flattened, uh, it was this whole piece was nice and nice and flat. But but once that that little rib gets flattened, this this piece gets distorted. So I'm actually gonna toss this, toss that, and use a, a new one later on. Okay, so I'm not gonna wipe the rest of this down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take take that nut off. So there's that little four four prong nut that's in there. See that four prong nut for the four prong wrench. So let's see, is it the right side or the left side? Nope, not that side. So it's the bigger end. Oh man, it doesn't even fit. Really? Oh man, it doesn't fit. God damn it. Oh man, this sucks. So this one I have here, this is from... Um, I forgot what brand it's from. Who is this from? This was from... Uh, so this is not a Honda. This is not a Honda part. So basically the your socket thingamabob here is hitting it's hitting this, so it doesn't it doesn't fit. It, it doesn't go all the way in, so I have to buy another one. God damn it! Well, this one is actually old. I had this for over ten years, but I had to one. I had to buy one that's where where the uh, socket wrench is is deeper, so it could fit that. Damn it! Okay, well that's the end of this video then. So uh, yeah, so stay tuned for the next video, I guess. So that's not gonna be for another week or so, because if I order it today. It's not gonna get here until today's Wednesday. It's not gonna get here until probably Monday. Ah, okay. So stay tuned in another week then.